This video is about uh, measuring the final drive belt deflection on a 2008 Harley-Davidson Road Glide. Um, first thing you want to do is get the bike upright and get the rear wheel off the ground. Or you can have the bike on the jiffy stand with no weight on the bike. Um, next thing you want to do is remove the left. On this particular model, um, there's a luggage compartment here. You want to remove that saddlebag. And once you remove the left one, you can see the... Um, you can see the belt here. You can see the teeth on the belt. You want to check the. You want to rotate this belt and check each tooth. You can do that by turning over the belt here, or getting underneath so you can look up and see everything. Um, rotate the tire. Check each tooth. Uh, look for any missing teeth. Um, look for any deep cracks. If you find those, replace the belt. Um, it's okay if you have surface surface cracks, um, but it's an indication of worse things to come. So if you find those. Um, Keep an eye out on the belt, and then after you check the belt, you can uh, check the belt deflection. And the way you do that is you need to find the midpoint of the belt. And if you come under here, follow the belt up, you can kind of feel where the belt starts to go up on the sprocket, and you can kind of gauge where that the middle of that sprocket is. Measure from that point, which is about right here, back to your um, rear axle. And then the midpoint is where you should measure measure the belt deflection from the bottom of the belt. It's about right here. Uh, once you find that point, uh, take your uh, belt tension gauge, special tool. Um, Harley Davidson sells this tool. This is an aftermarket uh, version of the same thing. Um, on the bottom here is a 10 pound mark where this O-ring is. So when I compress this, I can press it up to that O-ring, so I know I'm at the 10 pound, 10 pound mark. You want to measure the deflection of the gauge when this is at 10 pounds. And then all along the gauge here are uh, uh, 1 8 inch marks where you can um, gauge how much deflection there is. And then uh, you want to put the, put the gauge underneath the belt, uh, make sure it's straight up and down, and then uh, compress it all the way up to that 10 pound mark and then measure the deflection. On this particular bike it should be between 3 8 and 7 16 of an inch which it is. Um, I've already adjusted it. Um, after you measure it in one spot spin the wheel and measure it in uh, three or more spots you should be, be you should get pretty consistent reading. Um, I've noticed that some spots are tighter than others but it should all I've got it all in between 3 8 and 7 16 so Right, it's all good. It's a little bit more deflection there, but it's still within specs. And then uh, once you get your, um, if you have to, once you measure your belt, if you have to change the deflection, you want to come over to the right side of the bike. And on the right side, I had to remove the um, the right luggage uh, compartment. And once you do that, uh, Harley Davidson makes a special tool that will reach on the inside of the muffler where you're able to, to attach it to this bolt and loosen up this, this nut here. I don't have that tool, so I had to remove the, the muffler, which would have been right here. Um, uh, there's an E-clip that fits on this shaft, this axle. Uh, remove this E-clip, loosen this nut up. Once you have this nut loose, you can come around to the other side and right here you can see this eccentric cam um, if you rotate this to the uh, if you if you rotate this this axle counterclockwise it will um, increase the belt deflection and if you rotate this nut uh, clockwise it will decrease belt deflection um, you can see that it's eccentric here um, so if you you turn it to the right um, it's going to push the axle back and um, uh, de decrease deflection. And then that's how you, uh, you, you make your adjustment in the belt. Then go back and check your belt, uh, belt deflection. Once you got it within specs, um, tighten, up, tighten up this axle nut. Um, it should be tightened to between 95 and 105 uh, foot-pounds. Make sure when you tighten it that you're, this, this axle isn't turning on the other side. Um, after you got this tightened up, uh, recheck your belt deflection to make sure it's still within specs. And then uh, after you have that done, um, 
just go ahead and uh, reassemble your, like I've got to put this exhaust back on and, and put the saddlebags back on. And then I am set to go. Uh, thanks for watching.